Hello everyone, welcome to my first video. Today I will be showing you how to use the shopkeepers and citizens plugin together. But before we get started, you have to install two of these plugins, shopkeepers, which allows you to have custom trading villagers, and citizens plugin, which is used to make NPCs. Both of the links for these plugins will be in the description. So let's get started. First, let's create a shopkeeper. We're gonna do slash shopkeeper citizen. And now we have a shopkeeper that has the same name and the same skin. We're gonna change that now. The most important command is slash NPC select. While executing this command, you must look at the NPC that you wanna select and then start modifying it. I will only be going over the basic commands. Anyways, let's say you want to change the name of the NPC. We're gonna do slash NPC rename test. Now he will have the name test, but his skin will change because someone with that name has this skin. Now we are going to change the skin. We're gonna do slash NPC skin. You can either use a new URL for the skin or we can use a name of a player so we can use dream now his skin will be dream let's take a random item let's say diamonds and with that we are going to change what the NPC can drop now do slash NPC drops and we're gonna place the diamonds there but you see that he doesn't take damage we have to do slash NPC vulnerable which now allows us to attack him let's kill him now and now he dropped the diamonds if we wait a bit he should spawn again yeah when a player moves his head rotates and that kind of looks creepy so let's change that we are gonna do slash npc look now it is not gonna look when players are nearby this is kind of a weird feature but let's say you want to ride on his head so we are going to do slash npc control now right click on him and now you can ride him which is pretty cool in my opinion let's make him actually trade something the first row is what the player is trading the third row is what the shopkeeper gives the second row is optional let's say you have cobblestone you want the shopkeeper to give you stone for that that is what a normal player sees now what if he has also a stone slab we want him to get two stone blocks now this is what a normal player would see let's actually try him out seems that everything is working fine the next command will only work if he's vulnerable slash npc collidable now he will no longer collide with enemies if it, if collidable is on and if you push him he will move just like a normal player would the last thing i will be showing you is a tool that allows you to have multicolored text it is called rgb.birdflop.com before you type in anything make sure the output format is selected to legacy and let's type something test we are gonna copy the output we are gonna select the NPC and we're gonna do slash NPC rename and copy paste it. Now his name will be from blue to white test. But you can always change the gradient colors if you don't want it to be from blue to white. Here. Let's make it red to blue. And we're gonna copy that. We're gonna do slash NPC rename and we're gonna paste it. Now his name is from red to blue. If you wanna contact me, join my Minecraft or Discord server. Everything is in the description. Thank you very much for watching and have a great day.